the few athletes I've ever coached or experienced, even been, been around, that competes not only against other people, but he competes with himself. Ricky was one of those explosive ball players where he wanted to play, he wanted to be, he wanted to be on the line, in the limelight every single moment on the field. Whatever he did out in the practice field was going to benefit him and help him any other, at any other level that he you know, pursued. I think that's what you know, got him to the point where he, com he was able to compete in the majors and ultimately get him to the Hall of Fame. But it's a great feeling just to you know, be selected in that class of them fantastic ball players that you, know, you, you dream as a kid, you, you wishing that you can be a ball player and just do as half of what they've done. And uh, you know, it seemed like now you're on that same plateau. It's all goosebumps of the thrill that you know you went out and worked hard and accomplished the same thing. So. Ricky had a lot of great instinct, great base running. You watch him run bases, you learn. You know, everybody everybody was learning from each other, and uh, you know, for Ricky to be young, like you said, and he just his first years. You know, he was a major attribute to this team, and he he was fun to watch. Historically speaking, Ricky will be baseball's greatest leadoff hitter, hands down. But I think when the history of the game is written, Ricky should be one of the top 10 offensive players who ever played the game. When Ricky gets to Cooperstown, he's going to have a very special niche, unlike any other player, a combination of speed, power, and charisma. In my mind, he was probably one of the greatest ever, if not the greatest. Great guy, um, one of the nicest people I know. Um, very quiet, actually, in the clubhouse, um, but off the field, just a tremendous guy, and uh, just a pleasure to always be around. His induction to the Hall of Fame is a great thing for the Bay Area, uh, for the ownership of the A's, and for the A's fans. It's great for the organization. I would say that among players, exciting players, I never saw anybody who was more exciting than Ricky. As Tony LaRusso would say, he's the most dangerous player in the game. So it was a great thing to see an Oakland team draft an Oakland product and have him do so well in the major leagues and also be identified with the A's. When he was voted in the Hall of Fame, that was the wonderful, joyful, blessed day of my life. A lot of people said, oh, he's going to go in the Hall of Fame, you know. And I was just saying, I hope so, I hope so. The records that he had set up that he wanted to break, so far so good, he did it. To me, it's a special day. You know, it's a special day, it's a special time, and you know, you finally can say that you have accomplished something that maybe you dream as a kid to be like the, some of the greatest players that played the game. When I played for Oakland Tech, I didn't, I didn't dream that way because I was dreaming that I was going to be a fantastic football player. He said, Mom, what you want me to do? And I always told him, uh, I got your back, whichever, but I really, from my heart, I didn't want him to play football. He's one of the greatest I ever played with. And, and in 89, he, he took us to another level. He made a very good team great. Privilege to play with him. It's special for me, it's was Ricky going in, because he kind of took me up on his wings, you know, when I was a rookie and, and the time that I spent with him. Uh, he gave me a lot of inf information on how to play the game, how to go about my business. So, Ricky Henderson, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to play against Ricky and play with Ricky. Ricky and I were teammates not only in Oakland, but we were teammates in New York as well. And uh, Ricky Henderson was just a phenomenal talent. He's more than deserving, and I'm happy for him, and I congratulate him on going into the Hall of Fame this year. Athletes, no athletes, and Ricky has always been better than all of us in for him to get inducted in the Hall of Fame, it was inevitable, even in high school. And people don't like to give Ricky the just due. I think he's one of the top five baseball players of all time. Not just this leadoff crap they talk about. This guy can destroy a ball game for another team, and he's done it for over 20 years, and uh, he deserves everything they're gonna bestow on him in the Hall of Fame.